Welcome, chosen one. Hey guys, welcome to the Ace of Place channel. In this video, I'll be taking a uh, couple of games with a Nilfgaard Spies deck. This list was made by Shinmiri. All I did was change one card. I took out Vreemd and put in False Siri because Vreemd wasn't really working here. It never gets more than two targets, really. And uh, Artifact Removal is pretty good right now. And False Siri is actually pretty efficient removal in that sense. So... Double Thunderbolt. Don't know how I feel about that. Herald the Cripple. This might be a no-unit deck. It's a no-unit deck. They play Summoning Circle as far as I'm aware. And that's probably the best False Siri target. So we're just going to have to hold on to her until then. Just going to throw this Sergeant under the bus. There we go. I've actually never played against this particular no unit deck, so maybe it's fun. I don't know. Of course. Well, now I'm at a loss here. What could Roderick give us? Nothing extremely interesting. Maybe we should... Like, they don't play Curse of Corruption or anything like that, right? I'm gonna play a Thunderbolt, maybe force him to... Yeah, just play completely dead card, Undying Thirst. I mean, you know, this... The few units they have are great swords and such, so that's actually... Potentially... It could be a 12-point card, if they had a great sword on the board. And something to hit. Look at me. I am the artifact deck now. I have two more artifacts here. That's actually more than most non 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 unit decks, aka unit decks, would run. I would imagine. I mean I just gotta get a unit on the board. I mean, he's got six damage there, so. They don't play tall unit removal, do they? Well, that's fine. I just needed a unit on the board, so I could play this emissary in case I draw Monsieur Grégoire. And if they don't have tall unit removal, then they're gonna have to work a bit to. Get all my points off the board. Don't em don't tactical advantage on the emissary. There we go. I mean, this is fine. Like, it's fine. Okay, so Roderick now. There are a few cards here that would be perfectly fine to get. So, let's see, Grigoire. He would. Tank a hit eventually. See, ultimately he would tank a hit and give another big unit on the board. Okay. We're gonna see a TA. He really does want to put points on the board. So we can get some Hengate value here, which is pretty cool. All bridge. I mean, Vil Villem could pull Operator, which is like the one card we don't want to pull. A any of these other ones would be good. Or fine, at least. Operator, all ah. He wouldn't have a target, but that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play Albridge. Let's see, is there something in particular we want here? I think we just set up the operator. Let's 
Sell Blood Totem. Now he's gonna pop his stuff. I see now that maybe I should have set up something so I could play Joaquin this, this round. Because I am not super keen on passing just yet. See, this is six points. But he would have the pass anyway. And this, I just have to, I have to save this. I have to save this. I kind of bricked my own Joachim, and this is just not enough. I think I'm forced to take a pass, which is really sad, because generally I would want to push. Or bleed him, rather. Operator Vigo. And a Diviner. That's a good dump. Okay, so he's getting kind of a long round here. I don't have weather clear. If he plays Ragnarok. We don't need two of these. I mean, we're, we're going to get two from this and then one there. So we don't need both of those. Duchess kind of bricked here. Willem actually very bricked, so I think we just have to keep this hand. Yeah. Uh, there's no use in opening with this. If he does have Ragnarok, then stalling for as long as possible will be great. Cantarella would be interesting. But he's probably got a lot of control tools, and if we do that before he has any units, then that's kind of a problem. Vigo could pull. I mean, it's any bronze, right? So, could be some bad stuff. This is going to have to happen anyway. Yeah, let's see what he has to do with this. There's just a fog. I can probably take that. Just play another Enforcer. This one is bound to die because like, he plays, what's it called, Samum? I should have played it here, because now he can move this. No, just a gutting slash. For no value, because my big boys are, are uh, boosted. That's kind of cool. Let's see, what Joaqu only pulls a non-spying, so it's going to be one of these two. It honestly doesn't matter. But this will help us at least get some value out of the Enforcers. Uh, we can remove the Spying Tag from our boy here. He's the most likely to die, so use his Chargers first. Come on, you're going to have to play something soon. Northern Wind... An emissary off of Vigo would be good here, right? To boost up this, the one with charges left. You are not there we go. And we don't give him the opportunity to do anything. So he's, he doesn't have summoning circle because it's way too late for him now. Because they they circle for great swords, so he would have had to do it two turns ago. So we know that much. 
Might be a good idea to uh, take out that Thunderbolt potion, though. Marigold's Hailstorm. Should I take this out? He's gonna play a unit soon. I think I can wait. Let's try this. Marching orders for... <laughs> a dead informant. But it actually doesn't matter because, like... We're probably not going to get to use these charges anyway, so just, you can just kill it, like... Shit. That's a unit, and it's going to boost it up. Okay, so we kind of lost our opportunity there. But we're going to get an extra six points off of this, though. I mean, we don't, we're not going to win. There we go. Damn it. If I, if I had taken out the potion. He would have had six less points. Wow. If I had, oh, uh, if I had just taken out that potion, man. I could have actually won that game. That's pretty cool. Well, maybe I'll win the next one. Here's hoping. Like, the thing with last game was that, like, I'm not super familiar with those types of decks, especially the Herald one. And, like, I didn't know if he was going to play any other artifacts although you know looking back at it like besides summer circle and another thunderbolt what else could be as good right you know what i mean i don't want two of those uh let's look at this yeah i think i think this is fine yeah looking back at it like once I saw that he wasn't going to play the uh, summoning circle, I should have just destroyed the potion. But like I said, I'm not super familiar with what cards they play, but I guess they don't have any more artifacts. So that one's on me. That actually wouldn't be the worst informant. Although, of course, I'm going to put down my enforcer first. Tempo cleaver. Glad I didn't use this. That's for sure. Well, the second charge obviously goes here. Arnulf, I, don't, I do not know what Arnulf plays these days. That's a steal. Right? That's a pretty good steal. There we go. Maybe it wasn't that good. I could have actually hand gated Cleaver. He's playing a shit ton of points. Okay, so it's pretty obvious here that I'm probably gonna lose on even. So, I 
should probably stop now. Stop while I'm still safe from a dry pass. My hand is not good, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I wonder if this is Freddy's list. I know he was playing some Arnie Elf with priests and shield maidens. This is not important. This is for the, the pass. Oh, that's for the pass. Ooh, but I do have to beat that one. I am uncomfortable with that that prospect. Cantarella? Potentially? Nope. Okay. He's got a free pass there if he wants it. Okay, he's not taking it. That's going to be a problem. Ah, uh, do I do this? I actually think I do. This might be stupid, like, incredibly dumb. Wow. Ooh. Ah, oh, disgusting. Absolutely fucked up. Okay, what now? What can Roderick get us? Some, uh, some hot stuff. Kinda risky, but I like it. Ooh. Of course. Of course. Yes. Okay, so Arnjolf is just a 2-0 deck. I mean, it makes sense because, holy shit, he won uneven. What can I get? Nothing in particular that is good. There's no way. I mean, look at this freaking hand. Dead Albrecht? I love that. Uh, and he's got his leader. Like, we've lost this game. His hand was fantastic. There we go. You go, dude. Do your thing. Casual 56 points. Well, Albrecht on the melee row, bitch. Give him that Thunderbolt charge. I almost had half his score. 
I'm pretty impressed with myself there. Okay, losing uneven. Not a good idea. But, I mean, it seemed like that was going to happen anyway. Like, I passed for a reason. But now I've learned, and so have you. It is important to learn. That is why we play Gwent. That is why we watch Gwent videos. That's why I watch Gwent videos, to learn. But nobody taught me not to do this. Where's the video on this? It's right here, I guess. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you didn't get too mad at me when I lost both games. Huh. Now that's quality content. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye.